Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file, and I've already sent them the file. They want to, the real reason for the video, they want to separate this car and not, and they want to run them, they, they're going to engrave them. They want to engrave them separately. And if you engrave these separately, the two parts that are in the middle are going to engrave twice, and they don't want that. And then I, I told them that I removed the white background and they asked, well, why did you need to do that since the laser won't engrave it? Well, some lasers and some colors of white, you know, I don't even know what color of white this is. It's BW, whatever. Uh, you don't know what kind of white it is. It's, you know, a lot of the white uh, RGB whites won't engrave, but some whites will. And even, I've even, you know, It'll barely engrave, but if you had like a piano finish plaque, it would maybe just barely touch it and take some of the lacquer off. So the first video is going to be about how to remove the white. So I am going to, and for the one I'm doing it for, if you'd set your nudge, your duplicate distance on zero, zero, you'd be a lot happier. This page is, I made the uh, 12 inches, so I'm going to make my nudge factor. Let's make it like, 12 inches, and I'm going to nudge this capital out of the way, and see, <clears throat> that's almost proof that you can't see the white, or you can't see the white because it's taken up by the yellow. So I'm going to lock my yellow so I can't grab it. Go to lock the yellow. That way I can't grab it, and the only thing I can grab is the white. And I'm going to, you know, there's several ways to do this, and if we take the color eyedropper tool and see all the whites or this, well, see there's an RGB white. So I'm going to ungroup this and two ways you can do it is just start clicking on white and remove the white. And in this case, there's not that much to remove, but we could also try find and replace and remove the white. Let me zoom in a little bit. The other reason I like removing the white, because the white is an object, and if you happen to do that, you get that. So the white is an object, so we need to take that white away. So now that's transparent. We'll go ahead and control G to group that back together. <clears throat> and now we'll try find and replace, see if it'll work, even though there might be different colors. I'm gonna, re re I actually just need to find objects. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick a white. Would I need to ungroup this thing? And I'm going to pick that white right there. And I'm going to go from selection. And then I'm going to go find all. And see, there's some whites in there that are really pretty little. So I'm going to group them together, control G. And then I'm going to nudge them out of the way. Sometimes you have to uh, do it twice. But see, there's all the white it found, but there's other whites in there that it didn't find because they're different colors. And also there's a white border. So now let's try to figure out what this color, this white border is and see it's the RGB white. So let's do the same thing. Let's get off there and let's pick that white and go from selection Find all. I don't have to, but I'm going to group them all together and then I can delete them. So there's still some white. So let's zoom in and find out what this little line is made out of. And I'm going to click on that white and you can see white, white right here from selection, find all, control G, and then, then that way you can click on it again and hit delete or move. Well, that didn't work. You know what? Maybe I have to break that apart. Yeah, those were together. So let's try that again. I'm going to have to click off this. I mean, let's just do this white first, which we could hit delete. And that's a lot of the white. But see the white here that's actually a, an outline? So we're going to go from selection, find all, and then hit delete. I, del I grouped them together. Well, that's not going to work because that is a 
So I should have ungrouped everything. Let me do that. Let me, uh, let me nudge the letters out of the way. So I can grab all this. And I'm going to try this. I'm going to try taking away the outline. And it worked. So I didn't have to remove any white. Now, in this particular car, there's a little bit of stuff you could clean up. And for the one I'm doing it for, I did not do this in yours. See, there's just some other items that we could delete and make it a lot smoother engraving. Now we can group this back together, Control-G, for a second. And we can move over here. I did something in this skull. I don't really know what I did, but he liked it. I'm going to go group and ungroup. I'm going to get rid of that white. And I'm going to get, whoop, I hit the black. Get rid of the white. And try to get rid of the white. But see, when I did that, I got rid of the entire skull. So I'm going to nudge the skull over. And I'm going to ungroup it. So this one's a little bit different. And now I can get rid of the, the white. Now, to put this in that X, it isn't going to really work because you're going to get some things you can't really see that the white kind of helped, but the engraver might not know that. So this time I'm going to left click, right click. I'm actually going to make this a hairline. Um, go right down here instead of 400 points. I'm going to make it a hairline so it'll actually kind of work better. I'm going to put a, this might work just by doing this. I'm going to take the skull now and nudge it back over to our X. Because we really want that skull kind of like the way it's going to look here in just a second. I'm thinking this is the way you would want that skull. You wouldn't want that because that's going to take away from your item. Now what we need to do is take away the outline. And that's what I was telling the young gentleman that I, I removed and I made his letters a little bit thinner, but you could go back and do that. I'm gonna take away the outline. So it just made a little bit thinner. Now let's nudge that back over. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and make two videos out of this, uh, cause I hate, I don't like my videos being that long. And I'm gonna show you how to separate these two. Hope that helped, thank you for watching.